if you're running the meeting from a browser, the pictures show up at the bottom of the screen. Um, you can open up uh, the different options over on the right. Um, you can only see one panel at a time, so your participant panel will only show up once um, or chat. What I would advise you to use is not the web browser version, but instead use the WebEx application, which should be installed on your computer um, or the first time you um, run a meeting, it should ask you to install. And it looks like the WebEx logo, that little circle. So I'm going to end this meeting from the browser and I'm gonna launch it from the WebEx application so that you can see what it looks like from there. So I'm going to go and open up my meetings desktop app. Here it is. And notice I have an update that needs to be installed. So I'm going to click on update to update the app so that it will work beautifully for me. and hopefully we won't have any errors. So here on the same screen, you can see your upcoming meetings um, that will appear and lots of little pop-up boxes for you. Um, you can join a meeting directly from here as well. So you can copy and paste the link either to the exact meeting or to um, someone's personal room. You can also start your personal meeting from here. And there is a schedule button, but I would recommend not clicking that button to schedule. Instead, schedule in the browser. So what I would suggest using this WebEx meetings, um, the desktop application for, is actually running your meeting from here. I wouldn't schedule from here. I would just use this to start or join um, a meeting because you get a lot of um, settings that you're not going to get if you're running from the browser. So I'm going to click on Start to start my meeting. Again, this looks the same as what it did um, from the uh, web version when we started the web version. So I'm going to click Start Meeting. And now notice I have menus up at the top now with more settings, but the screen at the bottom looks the same. And let's get my other folks in. OK, so you have your meeting down here at the bottom. One thing that you can do from the desktop app version that you can't do from the um, web version is change the view. So up here at the top, you have some other options where you can change how the speakers show up. So right now it's showing you the active speaker with thumbnails at the bottom. If I click on um, the first option, it's gonna show me full screen with the person that's talking. I'm not going to see the other participants. And then the last box, the grid view, is going to show me um, all of those other participants. If I wasn't using the camera in my uh, screen recording software, I would also have a box previewing my own picture on the screen that I would be able to move around um, as well. And then on the far right hand side, you have floating panel view, which is going to make this full screen. And then if you open up any panels, they would float on the screen rather than um, take up your screen real estate, so to say.